So we all know that the Fire TV Stick is one of the most popular streaming devices that's available. And this is for a couple of reasons. It's inexpensive, does the job, and it has a lot of features, including the voice assistant that most of us use. However, the Fire TV Stick is not for everyone. And for this video, what I wanna do is highlight five reasons not to buy the Fire TV Stick. So stick around, watch the entire video if you're new. Subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So as I mentioned in the intro, the Fire TV Stick is popular and one of the main reasons is because this is an Android based device. And with Android devices you have a lot more flexibility. And of course many people buy the Fire Stick because they're able to sideload third party applications in the Amazon App Store. And that brings us to reason number one why the Fire TV Stick might not be for you. The first reason is gonna be lack of Google Play Store. So a lot of people love Android devices, Android boxes, Android phones because of the Google Play Store. Google Play, you have a lot more applications to choose from. A lot of these apps are gonna be free and they also have a lot of apps that's in development that you can go ahead and test out. With the Fire Stick UI, you're not gonna see a lot of those applications. Yes, you're gonna have a certain amount of applications. You are gonna get your streaming applications, of course. You are gonna get apps that can make Amazon money, but some of those core applications that you love from the Google Play Store is not gonna be available. So think of it as a limited Play Store that has the core applications that you'll need. Reason number two is gonna be the customizability. So the Amazon ecosystem is what it is, guys. If you look up top, you're gonna to have your menus. They have done a lot of redesign. Good job on the updates, just keeping everything fresh. However, what you see here is basically what you're gonna get for Amazon. Unless you install a third-party launcher on this device, you're gonna be stuck with what you see here on the screen. A lot of menus that you probably don't need, a lot of ads that you can tweak a little bit. A lot of things that are included in this screen is just not used by most users, including myself. I probably use three or four applications, but there's a lot going on that's probably not needed. So a lot of people find this very clunky. Reason number three is gonna be limited resources. So you've probably seen a lot of videos, how to speed up your Fire Stick, how to add stories to your Fire Stick. I've done a couple of those videos. I'll definitely link those in the description of this one, but Fire TV Stick is small, it's inexpensive, and it also lacks a lot of those resources that will make a more expensive device. So one, Fire TV Stick, it's not gonna come with storage options. So you're not gonna be able to plug in USB without buying another piece of equipment. You're not gonna be able to add more RAM. And if you start filling this thing up with application, it is gonna slow down and you are gonna need to do some maintenance just to clean it up. Keep that in mind that this has limited resources. There are ways to add more storage, but you are gonna have to invest in more equipment. Reason number four. So the Fire TV Stick ships all over the world and I have been doing videos on Fire Sticks for probably four or five years now. I've heard all the complaints. Friends overseas in Ireland and UK, India, a lot of them have issues with content being blocked or certain resources just not available in their country. So the main one that they complain about is Prime Videos. Second one is gonna be Netflix. A lot more of those streaming applications that's probably available in the US or Canada, it's not available in those other countries. So not totally the fault on Amazon, but it just kind of sucks that you buy a device with certain expectations just to find out that it doesn't do what you need it to do. And the last reason is gonna be network connectivity issues. So I myself haven't experienced these issues, but like I said, I've received a lot of emails, a lot of videos, a lot of questions. Uh, Wi-Fi connectivity has been an issue on these devices. Now, unfortunately for the Fire Stick, you have one option, basically. You have to connect with the Wi-Fi. Unless, again, you buy additional equipment to hardwire in via Ethernet, you're stuck with the Wi-Fi connection. In. And if your Wi-Fi connection is horrible, no other options to get this connected to the internet. So just to add another layer, the Fire Stick is designed to be plugged in directly to the back of your television, which means it's behind a television and more than likely it's gonna be next to a wall. Unless your router is within a good distance, you are gonna have some issues. So like I said, I personally, I have decent Wi-Fi in my house, so I haven't experienced those issues, but I have received a lot of emails, a lot of questions about Wi-Fi connectivity. Fire Stick overall is a great device. It's inexpensive, Android base of horse. Does everything that you needed to do. But if these five issues are important to you, you might wanna consider another device. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you on the next one.